In this video, we're going to look at the volume of pyramids and cones. A pyramid, uh, the volume of a pyramid, is exactly one-third the volume of a prism. It's one-third times the area of the base times the height. And I've got a picture here of a right pyramid and an oblique pyramid. And remember, a pyramid has a polygon for a base and a vertex that's on a different plane just like a cone, except a cone has a circular base. Now the area of the base, just like in a prism, is going to depend on the shape of your pyramid, because pyramids can have all different types of polygons for bases. So let's find the volume of this triangular prism. Oh, I said prism, but I really meant pyramid. Okay, so we're going to put down our formula, which is one-third the area of the base times the height. Since this is a rectangular base, let's change that to one-half base times height. Now, I've put it in parentheses here just to kind of set it off. You don't need those parentheses. Now, remember, our first H is the height of our triangle in the base, and the second H is the height of our pyramid. So... Uh, volume equals one-third the area of the base, which is one-half, times base, which is six, times the height of the triangle, which is four. The whole thing times the height of the pyramid, which is nine. Plug that in your calculator, and the, you get the volume of this pyramid is 36 centimeters cubed. Again, volume is always in cubic units. All right, the volume of a cone is exactly one-third the volume of a cylinder. And I've got a couple of pictures there of a right cone and an oblique cone. And notice that the pi r squared, we don't put a capital B, we just change it to the area of a circle, which is pi r squared. And the height is the height per perpendicular height from the vertex to the base. So let's find the volume of a cone using this example. First I'm going to write down my formula which is one-third pi r squared times the height of my pyramid and that height is 4 and the radius which is my r is 3 and I'm not even going to use this what we call the slant height. We'll use that in our next video. Okay so now I'm going to plug in 3 squared for my radius, and my height is 4. And again, just like in a cylinder, you can answer in terms of pi when you're talking about the volume for a cone. So I'm just going to multiply all my numbers together, and I get 12 pi centimeters cubed if I wanted to answer in terms of pi. If I wanted to answer with a number, then I would multiply that 12 times pi, and I get a repeating decimal, which I would round to hundreds. So I would get the volume is 37.70 centimeters cubed. So again, read carefully what Math Excel, how it wants you to answer. All right, let's find the volume of this uh, composite or composition solid. So I've got a cone on the top and I've got a cylinder on the bottom. So if I want to find the volume of this whole thing, what I would do is I'd find the volume of the cone and the volume of the cylinder and I'm going to add them together. So I'm going to do that exact thing. I've got my volume of my cone formula plus my volume of my cylinder formula. I'm going to notice that pi r squared is the area of my base and the base is going to be the same for both shapes. So I've got one-third pi times two squared plus, or oh, times the height of my cone, sorry, um, plus pi two times two squared times the height of my cylinder, which is five, and again, I can answer in terms of pi by taking all of my numbers and multiplying them together. So I get 16 thirds pi plus 20 pi, and if I added those two together, combining like terms, I'd get 25 and one third pi if I wanted to answer in terms of pi. 
but if I didn't want to answer in terms of pi, I wanted a number, I would multiply that by pi, get a run on decimal, and round it to 79.59 inches cubed. So now you have the formulas and some examples for volumes of pyramids and cones. You can do your homework.